everybody, Zephyr Sicarius here, and you're probably wondering to yourself, why aren't you in your fursuit for this video? Well, I'm about to do a special video today on how to do some fursuit cleaning and fursuit maintenance 101. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do some proper fursuit maintenance, such as brushing your fursuit, how to disinfect it, washing, spot cleaning, and so on. So sit back, relax, and let me guys show you my tips and advice how to clean your fursuit. So the first thing we're going to be doing is brushing fursuits. This is probably one of the easiest things to do while taking care of your fursuit. Now, there's a difference between long fur and short fur, as you can see with my fursuit tail. The top part right here is all short fur, while the bottom one's all long fur. Long fur will get matted pretty easily and fast. So don't worry if it gets matted within like 10 seconds when you fursuit is long. It happens a lot. But to brush your fursuit is pretty simple, really. All you gotta do is take a slicker brush, you can get this at any pet store or Walmart, any store really that has pet supplies or whatever. And all you wanna do is you wanna take the opposite way of the brush, and brush down towards how the fur goes. So my, so the fur is going straight down, so what you want to do is just gentle strokes and brushing the fur. Just easy, gentle strokes. So the next thing we're gonna learn is how to use your own disinfectant fursuit spray. This kills all the bacteria inside the fursuit and the body. Now, you're probably thinking, can't I use just Febreze and that would be okay? Well, you can use Febreze to make it nice smelling and everything else, but I would highly suggest using your own spray because sometimes Febreze can kill foam inside a fursuit. Now, what I do is just basic um, ingredients of rubbing alcohol. I use 70% um, rubbing alcohol and water. Now, the ratio for it is I use a bit of 60-65% rubbing alcohol while the rest of it is water. And all you gotta do is just put it in a nice little spray and that's it really. Now with the thing with disinfecting, you always want to disinfect your fursuit every time you wear it. So every time you get done suiting, all you gotta do is just, for the bodysuit, just flip it inside out and just give it a few sprays. For the head, same thing, but I would avoid using eye contact with it because it can ruin the paint of the eyes. And for a few paws, hand paws, all you gotta do is just quick spray. Let me get in frame here. Just a couple sprays, not too much, just if I can unlock it first. <laughs> Sorry. All I gotta do is just spray and done. Just give it a shake. And that's all there is to it. Before the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean up your hand paws, your feet paws, and your head in two different ways. By hand washing, by using some laundry detergent and water, and by the Bristol Little Green Machine. This is that I, something that I personally use nowadays, which is great for fursuit maintenance. This is about 80 bucks at Walmart right now. Pretty simple, you can get it anywhere, really. It's, a, it's also a carpet cleaner too, so hey, you can kill two birds with one stone here. So let's go set it up. So this is pretty simple. All you really gotta do is just get like a bathtub or a sink. So I'm just gonna be using my feet paw for an example right here. All you gotta do is just, just make sure it's not gonna be draining your water. Put some cold water on. Let that run for a bit. And then what did I use for soap? I used Wool Light. Wool Light is actually really good for fursuit because it keeps like the form and shape of the bodysuit for a while. And like any soft detergent is any soft detergent will work out for it as well. And what you wanna do is just wanna. Put a little bit in there, left like that, mix it around, that way the water gets nice and soapy. All right, there we go. Now we wanna take a wet wash, a washcloth. Don't soak it yet in the soap. You wanna just make sure your first suit is a little bit damp. Bring it out. So we're just gonna wash, let me grab it over here without getting it soaked up. So we're just gonna use a little bit of the top part right here, for example. Just kinda get it damp. You don't want it soaking wet though. You don't want to soak through the foam. And then you wanna take another washcloth, put it in the soapy water, bring it out, and just do the same. Kind of like taking a bath, really. You want to get in there too. 
and then you'll notice when you start cleaning your fursuit fully, like, your bath water is going to look like dirt. Which is good, because that means you're getting all the dirt and grime out of there, at least. Alright, and then, same thing again. And then just rinse it out. And you want to make sure you get all the soap out of it, too. And this is the same thing with the head, but I'll show you guys that later once I use the another example of using the bristle little green machine, which I'll go into further details about that later. 20 minutes later. So we got everything set up ready to go in the bathroom right now, and you're probably wondering what the hell is going on with Zephyr's eyes right now. Well, I have it covered up with some paper towel and some tape. That way the chemicals from the cleaning supply that I'm using doesn't ruin the paint of it. Now, you can remove the eyes of your fursuit head, depending on what maker you have, but with mine, I'd rather not risk that and take them out and ruin it, so that's why I just have them covered up. Alright, let's get started. Eventually. Then after you get done, you just want to do basic person brushing. And then once you get done, just let it air dry. And now he's done. Now he's a clean jackal. And I didn't show me cleaning up the paws, like the hand paws, the feet paws and everything else, but after cleaning Zephyr for like good 20, 30 minutes, this is all, that's all the dirt and grime that I got from him. And that's just the outside part of it. I didn't get, I didn't clean the inside part of it yet, but I will do that after this video. But yeah, that's all dirt. And then what you want to do after this, you just pitch it really, because you don't need any use for that at all. So that's pretty much all the tips that I have right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and for Affinity, and on here. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. I'll be doing a little more videos like this down the road. I'll be doing another video on how to clean a bodysuit via washing machine. And also be doing a video on how to go to a furry con for the first time ever. And just basically getting another furry video to whatever comes to mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. I hope this guy comes helps you out a lot. If you guys like this video and want to see more, just comment, rate, subscribe to me. And I'll be doing more. Bye!